Hello, this is an instructional video for the Redshift Cruise Control Top Grips. Your box will include the two top grips, a roll of fiber reinforced tape, and a few sheets of double-sided adhesive stickers. You will only need two, the rest are extras. To begin, fold back the rubber brake hood covers and unwrap your existing bar tape and remove any remaining adhesive residue from the bar using the alcohol swab. If needed, reposition the shifter cables to the front lower portion of the handlebar to avoid interference when attaching the grips. Before removing the tape backing from the grip, place the grip on the handlebars and determine the desired position along the bar. As a starting point, we suggest centering the outermost notch of the grip approximately at the midpoint of the curve between the bar tops and the brake hoods. If the inboard side of the grip interferes with your stem, handlebar, or bar mounted accessories, use scissors to trim the grip to the desired length following the guidelines. If you want to preserve a smooth transition from grip to bar, you can reuse the tapered portion of the grip on the inboard side of the shortened grip. Next, using a pencil or masking tape, mark the position of the grip on the handlebar. Adjust the rotation of the grips as desired and mark the location. We recommend setting the grip's center line mark approximately at the top of the bars. The position of the heel of the grip should be approximately parallel with the ground. If possible, test the position of the grip while sitting on the bike as this will give you the most accurate representation of feel while riding. Now it's time to place the adhesive stickers to the inside of the top grip. Carefully peel off each of the three stickers and apply them to the corresponding section on the grip. When finished, peel off the backing and press the grip firmly into place on the handlebar using the alignment marks that you made earlier. Flex it into place starting at the inboard side and working outward. Before moving on to the next step, make sure you are happy with the position of your grip and if you need to make adjustments, Peel it off, adjust it, and reset it. Using the provided roll of fiber reinforced tape, secure the grip to the handlebar in the four locations shown using three full wraps of tape at each location. Pull the tape firmly while wrapping. All that's left to do now is to wrap your bar with handlebar tape. Be careful to avoid any gaps on the outside of the upper grip as it bends around the curve of the handlebar. Due to the unique shape of the grip, it is generally advised to wrap the inner radius of the curve with tightly overlapping layers so that the grip tape can properly follow the wider outer radius of the curb. Wait one to two hours before going for a ride and applying pressure to the top grips.